The principle behind the POCO control is to ensure that processes are not allowed to operate when the operation is likely to result in a defective or incomplete product. Triggers for the POCO control can be when needed materials were not set up and verified, when machine programs were not confirmed, or when trend analysis of data from quality-focused dashboards identified a high risk for an issue. The following use case demonstrates how the POCO control works. Here you can see the work order number, target quantity, and the product name, which can be retrieved from the MES system. Under setup, you can see the program recipe setup data, and the materials consumption area shows placement data as well. The usage window provides information on the amount of components that are used by the process. Once the OC is connected to the OP, you can use the active recipe request to get information on active recipes running at the equipment provided by the lane and model. Then, using the recipe response method, setup and placement for the recipes can be known. Start by stopping the equipment before you can start changing the program. Once the program is changed, the new equipment will be downloaded and information on program names, setup and placement will be available. To learn more about OML, go to omlcommunity.com.